Hello, Scrappy Peeps. Susanna here today for Ellie Studio, and I am sharing with you this layout created primarily using that stamp set to the right there, a good book stamp. Um, it is a large photo layout, as you can see. Um, it is also an interactive layout where that card that says book review flips out um, and most of the elements that are on this page I created using that particular stamp set. So while there are lots of great goodies in the kit with the die cuts, there's also um, some great book stickers that you can uh, have added as an add-on this month. I wanted to show you how just buying a stamp set um, could give you endless options and opportunities to create without having to buy um, all of those extra things. You can create your own embellishments. So um, when you have a 12 by 12 page, which is what this is, um, that is a 12 inch tall photo, essentially that boils down to four inches um, times three, right? So I have a four by six card that's gonna go on the top right, and then a four by six card that's gonna go in the middle right and then another four by six card that's going to go below that on the bottom so I only have two four by six cards um, so I'm just going to stamp on regular cardstock I could stamp directly on the paper that the photos on this is a piece of 12 by 12 photo paper but I don't the way that the ink absorbs in the photo paper is very different than the way that the ink absorbs on a regular piece of cardstock and I want it to be somewhat um, similar the whole way through. So that's why I've opted to stamp on um, cardstock and then attach it to that photo paper. So as you can see here, you can create a really cool bookcase. I've used the three by four pocket card as an example and then just using monochromatic colors, uh, shades of different shades of mint. I am just going to repeat that. I'm going to skip through that whole process because literally it is test it, stamp it, clean it, re-stamp it. Um, so I'm moving on to the next element. Below that, I am now stamping on sticker paper to stick on top of this because I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go. And I'm worried if I make a mistake that I'm stuck. So what I want to do is I want to stick, uh, stamp the book. So there's a a stamp that says currently reading and then there's a frame that goes all the way around it but I want to stick a book in the middle so I'm going to stick the book first clean off my stamp and then I'm going to mask that book with a sticky pad so I'm going to put it directly onto the sticker paper and cut it so that it's exactly the same width as the book and then I've got a pen mark um, where I folded up the bottom of the book so I know exactly how to center the frame that is around currently reading through that book there so just because a stamp is what it is doesn't mean that you can't block off parts of it and make it multicolored or add additional stamps to it. Um, so what I was doing there is I have an eraser. It is a, hold on, I'm going to reach for it so I can read it apparent, uh, directly to you. It is a, uh, oh, of course I can't. It's an art gum eraser. So you find this in the art section at Hobby Lobby, Michaels and Joann's, um, where the colored pencils and all the acrylic paints are. And I use that to prime my stamps. Most of the time when I am stamping on camera here, the stamps are brand new um, and I feel like they don't carry the ink the same way as if you prime the stamp. So you can see I either rub the stamp across my skin, but I feel like um, depending on what ink I'm using, it doesn't always work as well. So I'll take that art gum eraser and just rub it over the stamp, which helps the stamp to really pick up more ink um, and carry the ink better. So that if you see, when you saw me restamping, that's typically what I was doing. So now I'm working on this bottom um, section of the right hand side of the layout and I have that book review card that comes with the kit and I'm just adding a little bit of gray to the outside. Um, I, it needed a little bit more gray um, in the layout and more than just the monochromatic color. I was also having a hard time finding um, colors that worked without it all being, I wanted variety. So I liked the way that the gray pointed out the distinction in those colors there. And then you could see I ran that super awesome um, 
attacher metal die, which unfortunately is sold out, but you can get your name on a wait list. Um, they will release that at some point, and I'm using that to create a tip out um, for additional journaling behind the book review. I want Mia to write the book review, um, and then if she wanted to write additional information, she could underneath. Um, and you'll see how I create a little anchor for that card so that it's not kind of floating in the wind there. So again, wanting to add a little bit more color, I'm gonna put that gray up in the um, four by six basic grid journaling tag. So something else that is an add-on this month. There are four different tags available. This one is just um, a great like plain old notebook kind of tag. I thought I would use that gray 3x4 pocket card in just the top, um, but it's a very different green than all of the mint green that is in the rest of the layout here, um, and that's bothering me, and I'm not sure how I'm going to solve that. So I'm kind of set that aside, and I'm working on the remainder of the layout till I kind of reach an aha moment as to how that is going to be solved. Um, so now I have uh, that gray that I've cut out, and I'm just going to attach into that white space there. Again, I wanted to pull a little bit more gray into the layout so that you have a little bit of neutral um, and that just sort of pulls it together. I really like the way that this simple um, design here from, I believe this is from the Good Times Paper Stack, um, adds a little bit more white to the layout as well as just a a hint more design but without being a competing color um, and so I just am going to trim that off so that it fits exactly on the paper um, and then continue constructing so that's the 4x6 card that is the 4x6 basic grid journaling card um, and so you can see how that all fits very nicely down that right hand side of the photo there um, so I'm still kind of fighting with that little tab up there all right, so I've got myself organized here. I've pulled some coordinating papers. I often forget that I don't just have to stamp directly onto white cardstock, that you can stamp on any piece of pattern paper or um, colored cardstock. So here I have, uh, what I'm doing is I'm cutting down, I cut out that tab that was in the darker green that was bothering me so that I still had the three by four effect. I literally recreated the effect of that tab over the colored header, um, and in this case, a pattern paper header, but it was a pattern paper that coordinated with the rest of the collection and didn't sort of stand out as a sore thumb. It was still of the green family, but way too dark compared to the rest of the colors that I'm using. So here I'm showing you stamping black on um, colored cardstock, and I love the effect, but here's a but. Um, it doesn't work on this particular layout, and I had to see that for myself in that it is very, very dark. Um, it is a true hot shot of black, and really the only true black that is on this layout is um, that big book review in the title of that 3x4 card below. And this is a much, much more dominant black, and so I didn't have anything to balance that out with, which is why I set that aside and don't use it. So here I'm using again another one of the stamps to fill in that tab. Um, the stamp says purchased or borrowed um, and that is a perfect way to fill that tab. You could do anything you wanted in that tab book related. There's tons of great phrases too that I could have put there, but I really liked um, that I didn't have to write that in myself. So I'm trimming this down to try and use it. I thought that I would use that as the anchor for the three by four card. Then I thought maybe I would put it over the stars for the rating, but you can see, um, set that aside. Nope, that's not going to work as I had planned it to, and largely because of the dominance of black with nothing to counteract that. Another one of the stamps, uh, this one says this book, um, and I'm stamping it on the remainder of the 3x4 card that I cut where the color didn't work, um, and I like that it adds a little bit more green. So it's got the dots um, for journaling on, the dotted lines, and so that is, an, again, another way with a subtle, a subtle pattern that you can stamp over pattern and still have that pattern convey. Um, and I'm going to fussy cut that out it is a little bit hard to read. I did really need to prime that stamp a little bit better, um, but I know what it says. And even if nobody else realizes 
realizes that it says something, it's still a fun embellishment with the heart there. Um, so I've created a bunch of embellishments and I will go in and continue to use my stamps um, for a little bit more decor. So uh, what else am I going to do? Off camera, I am going to um, use a date stamp and stamp directly onto that three by four card on the Four by, sorry, four by six card on the top. Um, I am going to create a second circle um, that's it using the a good book stamp that will fill in some space there as well. Um, and it's no different than me stamping the circle that I am about to stamp. So now I want to create the little anchor for that three by four book review card. It's kind of flapping around there and it'll be fine once it's in a page protector, but I kind of like that finished look of having it anchored. So I have one of the circular stamps that has a coordinating metal die that goes with it. Um, and that's not true. Um, I used a, another circle die and so I'm stamping um, book of the week and then I'm going as you can see I've got the metal die there um, and that's from one of the the one of the ones with the pocket envelope um, and I'm going to stamp a uh, stamp I'm going to roll that through my big shot there perfect size and then I'm also going to get a piece of sticker paper and run that through as well um, so that I have something that I can a give it a little bit more oomph to the cardstock um, and then B I'm going to use just half of that sticker so that I only have half of it that is going to stick down to the right hand side of the card so the left hand side of it is not sticky and therefore can act as a hinge that you can slide the three by four card underneath you'll see it coming up so there's the half I'm going to put that on the right half and it's actually probably more like two thirds um, of that circle there. There we go. And so then it leaves my uh, left third unsticky um, and I can attach that. So I initially used dot roller but realized I wanted something a little bit stronger. Um, and so I'm just using some double sided tape there to anchor that edge where the book is going to go. It also gives a little bit more height so that you've got more room to slide that card in underneath. And I'm going to put a couple of chipboard pieces that are not add-ons from um, this month. I am going to stamp directly onto the photo that says time to relax and read um, and you can see it much better there in the close-up. So I hoped you enjoyed seeing how you can incorporate stamps and build your own embellishments. There's the little tab that that's going to stick underneath. Um, if you have any questions about any of the stamping, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. I hope you are inspired to pick up this stamp set and uh, give it a whirl. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.